Yo, it's Gabriel just another fan TV coming back at you another video. I think that's number three today, so we're gonna keep pushing. Um, so the Ravens have announced the signing of Vince Beagle, um, linebacker. So I just want to give a quick back history about who this guy is and what he, what this signing may mean for the Ravens, right? All right, so it looks like it's a one year deal. Uh, Vince is 6'3, 245 pound linebacker, so a uh, good size. Play college ball at Wisconsin, two time second team All Big Ten, one time third team All Big Ten, and he was a draft pick of the Green Bay Packers fourth round, 2017. Only lasted there one season, then shot down to New Orleans, where he also played one season. But where he found his footing and really became an NFL player was with the Dolphins. So he played three seasons with the Dolphins. Um, with 2019 being the best overall season of his career. He played in uh, 15 games, started 10 games, um, registered 57 tackles, 32, sorry, 25 solo tackles, 32 assisted tackles, two and a half sacks, and also caught an interception. And um, so as of 2020, he tore his Achilles though. Um, didn't play all 2020. Came back, played a couple of games, 2021. And uh, I believe he had signed a contract extension with the Dolphins only to be cut the same season. So it seems like he never really got back on the field and fully in the trust of uh, Brian Flores and staff um, after that Achilles injury. So it seems like it just kind of went downhill from there for him. But where does he land with the, how does he land with the Ravens? Uh, apparently, according to Jeff Zerebeck, uh, you know, beat writer at the Athletic for the uh, Baltimore Ravens. He was at the Ravens rookie mini camp. So the Ravens had a couple of uh, veterans there. So obviously this guy was one of his big Also, Geronimo Allison was at the uh, uh, rookie mini camp. He actually just signed with the Atlanta Falcons. So, uh, so yeah, so they, they, they brought some vets out. And this vet, they decided to, they decided to sign this one. Um, so if he makes the Ravens squad, what does he, what does he provide the Ravens with? You no. Know, why did the Ravens make this signing? Well, basically, According to what I've read, he has inside linebacker and outside linebacker versatility. Now, I dropped the video today about the Ravens' biggest needs, and honestly, both of those positions were on there. So if this guy can play both spots, even at a decent rate, it's a it's a decent pickup for the Ravens. It's not, I don't think it's anything game-changing, moving the needle, but it's a good pickup. So he can play special teams. I think that's what he, that's what he did most of the time in his one season in New Orleans. And you know, he'll fill in here and there uh, when I guess when some guys need to blow. Uh, you know, if, if Queen is tired, maybe he help out on the edge at outside linebacker when somebody else is tired, Josh Bond's not on the field. So this is all assuming he even makes the team at all. But if he makes the team, he has inside linebacker, outside linebacker versatility. It's not a bad sign. It probably didn't cost the Ravens too much. I didn't see the numbers. Uh, but assuming that it's a one-year deal, he's going to have to work his way through camp and prove that he's actually back healthy from an Achilles injury. That seems to be the, the biggest thing. So now the Ravens are now dealing with three guys, uh, at least with past Achilles injury. So that's Vince, Tyus Bowser, and David Ojabo. The last two are actually still out with those injuries. So Vince, Vince is back. We'll see if he can regain some of that 2019 form where he played pretty well on the Dolphins team that – wasn't expected to do too much. Um, they ended up winning like five games. They was five and eleven that season. Uh, so he played his role for that team. And he played well. Can he can he be that guy again for the Ravens? We'll see. Uh, maybe maybe he doesn't make the team. But you know the Ravens need to add bodies. OTAs coming up, workouts coming up, training camp coming up. You need to have more guys in the building. You need to have more options out there. So uh, Vince uh, Vince Beagle gives the Ravens another option. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll see if he plays well. We'll see if he makes the roster. We'll definitely be seeing him throughout training camp and preseason. And we'll see where it goes from there, man. It's your boy Gabriel. I just want to drop this quick video talking about it. Um, just another fan TV. I'm out.